So I will talk about how to release a module, uh, and especially a Triton module. And uh, first, I will explain what is a release, because not often people uh, understand exactly what is a release and uh, how they are important. Uh, so a release, some people think it's just a repository. You publish the repository. But uh, there is a main problem with just making release by publishing repository, is that you cannot be sure that everybody has the same version of the code, because some could be a little bit more up to date than uh, the other <coughs> one, and, and so on. So it really depends when you fetch the repository, and so uh, it's very difficult to to manage and to be sure to, to talk with other about the same stuff. Uh, some think that just a revision, it's enough to be a release. Uh, so the, our revision is the timestamp of the repository, a specific step in the repository. But the main issue with uh, doing that is you cannot be know which one was done before which other. If you look, so uh, revision is in Mercurial is looks like that, and you don't know which one was before because this is the two revision from two Triton version but nobody can know which one is it's the 4.0 and the 2.8 but nobody it's impossible to know so it's not enough just publishing revision you can think okay i will name my revision and so put a tag so a tag is just give a name to the revision it's almost like a release then because you can give a number and uh, sorting the, 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 the revision. But there is other issue with that, is how do you install uh, a tag? Uh, it's complicated and the you don't have the process to, to do it. You, you have to explain each time how to fetch your tag and uh, install <coughs> it. Also, how do you distribute it? Because the tag is on your repository somewhere, but how do you spread your code to the world, uh, except by uh, having everybody uh, going to fetch your, uh, the code in your repository, but it could not scale very well. And also, you can have generated file that you don't store in your repository, but you don't want specially that the user will install your uh, modules will have to generate because perhaps they don't have the tools and, and so on and it's not very useful for them to, to generate themselves this kind of uh, file so uh, uh, for the generated file it's good to make them when you do the release and store it somewhere and the last issue is how do you ensure that what you s publish to the world uh, your, your uh, release uh, how do you ensure that everybody will have the same that nobody will change it or make a one that looks like yours but with uh, bad code or uh, virus or something like that so it's good also to publish for that uh, a signature of your uh, release or a hash like that people will be able to compare it <coughs> with uh, so you, you provide the signature somewhere else and so they can ensure that what they download from the web is the same as what was published so uh, in Python world what we have we have tools for that and uh, what we name is a release where you have the code the generated file how to install it uh, how to make sure that you you have the right version? How to how you you ensure that uh, uh, what you fetch is what you, you want it to fetch? 
uh, it's what we call a uh, source distribution. And most of the time, we publish it on PyPy. PyPy is for uh, Python Python pa indexer, uh, Py Python okay. package indexer. So I think it's the right tool for us to publish there. Uh, because also it ensures that you distribute uh, your package all, all around the world because uh, they have a lot of mirrors and stuff like that. And so how do you make a source distribution? The first step, after having your code <laughs> in a repository and uh, writing, uh, having stuff uh, fixing, and, uh, testing and so on, is to create uh, a file named setup.py. Uh, you can use two, ca two modules, uh, distributives or setup tools. Distributives are the tools from uh, the, the Python uh, standard library. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of functionality, so sometimes you have to write more stuff in your setup.py with it. Or you can use the setup tools, which provide some extended functionality uh, to the distributive, and uh, you have uh, less work to do, can discover the, uh, all your Python file automatically and stuff like that. And once you have a right setup.py script, making a release after having tagged your repository, of course, is just to run uh, Python setup.py as this for source distribution. And uh, it will generate your, ta <coughs> your uh, ter gz uh, file and uh, you can publish, and to publish, you can also do it via the setup uh, script by calling upload, and of course you can uh, to sign it. You have the dash s option where it will sign it with your GPG key, and so you will ensure that everybody will uh, could check that the distribution you, they are downloaded uh, is the one you published and you, you do you did. So to help everybody to follow this uh, good procedure uh, we provide on the Triton Tools repository a template for the setup. Uh, it's a, a special uh, template made just for the Triton modules. And uh, it's not the same as the standard, the one you find in the standard uh, modules, because uh, we don't want people publish uh, their own module like the standard module. Uh, we, don't want, uh, we don't want to have confusion between uh, both kind of modules. And uh, for example, you people should not report bugs <coughs> on the specific modules to the bug tracker of Python because we don't know about this module and it's not uh, the right place to, to report stuff like that. Uh, so you have to to change a little bit uh, there. And of course, uh, uh, the template uh, is very simple to to manage because you reuse some stuff, we, uh, some file we, you have to define in your Triton modules, like the Triton.cfg, where you define the dependency between the Triton modules and, and so on. Uh, also the XML file uh, to, to load, etc. And so the setup template will use this file to automatically uh, put the right uh, dependency to of your modules uh, when you publish it to, the, to PyPy. Uh, it will all automatically install the XML file on the right place and so on. And it will use the readme file as the description of the package on PyPy. So it's good also to write a readme file. Uh, every package, should, every module should have a readme file uh, where you put stuff like uh, where to find the, the development, development uh, website, where to report issue, who to contact in case of uh, issue and uh, problems and, and so on. And uh, also some special stuff that are uh, 
needed for, 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 for this module. Uh, once you have your setup the .py file uh, written, uh, you also have to, to write, in some cases, uh, manifest.in. Uh, it's, a, it's a file that describes uh, how extra, extra uh, file on your uh, modules that you want to package. Uh, because by default, you will just take the Python file, but uh, you also have to take the XML file, the, the PO file for, for the translation, and um, uh, what else? Uh, documentation or stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a file to also write. And uh, in the template, you have to define, of course, uh, the name of your module, uh, a prefix, so and a dictionary that links modules and prefix. I will try to explain here what is it's uh, about. Uh, when we def uh, there is a s something that needs to be understood is that there is a difference between the distribution name and the module name. Uh, you can have a distribution name that is completely different than your module name. Uh, and what we suggest is that you, your, the distribution name is prefixed by with a specific name. Uh, it could be the name of your company or the name of your project or uh, something like that. Name of, or uh, if you do a verticalization, it could be the name of the kind of verticalization you are doing. And so, like that, this prefix will not be in the name of the Triton module. Uh, like that, you can still use the, uh, a good name for your module uh, that describes exactly what you do, you do, and you don't, in some way, pollute, 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 yeah. <laughs> your, uh, the, your uh, list of modules with uh, <coughs> The prefix name, where you have, you could have a lot of. Yeah. Okay. Change project. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, <laughs> like that, you don't have to to pollute your uh, the list of your modules with a lot of. Uh, ex prefix of many companies and stuff like that. You don't care when you are developing. You you want to find the, the source code directly and don't care about uh, yeah it's come from uh, B2CK or it's come from uh, New Health or stuff like that. You you just know that it's in this module that does this stuff, so you you can go directly. And the the dictionary uh, talk it about. The, pref the dictionary between prefix and modules is to define, uh, of course, in the Triton config file, you will have the name of the Triton module, and you have to convert it into the prefix name of the module. So this, this dictionary will allow you to define, okay, when you find the name uh, module A, you have to prefix it with project, uh, <laughs> uh, special project and so on. Uh, so this dictionary is there to, to make the matching between the, the two, uh, the, the prefix name and the, last, the normal name. And uh, I don't remember the last stuff. I hope to come back. Okay. 
uh, of course, in your, in your setup uh, uh, .py, you have also to define the requires uh, modules. So you don't always depend only on Triton modules, but you can depend on other libs. And in some way, you should have to depend on other libs to reuse the code of the Python community. And uh, there is a lot of good tools and that could be used. Uh, and the last stuff is about the URL and where to download your uh, source code and the license, of course, you are choosing for your modules. Uh, that's the, the four points to check when you use the template from uh, the Triton uh, contrib to Next stuff is that, uh, of course, you have to give numbers to your release to be able to sort and to know which one comes af after which one and so on. Uh, I think it will be good that everybody follow the same rule uh, to, to build a good ecosystem where everybody knows how it works and uh, you don't have a special case and this one is using this kind of release numbering and this one another and so uh, you have always to, to remember which what is working with what and, and so on. So I suggest that we follow the already Triton release uh, scheme uh, where the two f uh, first number mm -hmm. are the series compatibility. So for now we have the 3.0, so it's the series 3.0. And every module that is developed on this series should be numbered 3.0 and dot a minor number where you define it's just bug fixing so it's the same uh, in some ways the same modules but just this bug fix and uh, you can find uh, the guidelines we follow for uh, numbering the release of Triton and so I uh, really encourage everybody to follow the same <laughs> to be to build a a great uh, ecosystem where everything works perfect. So, yeah, that's uh, all for the. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Triton versioning, uh, if you look back, it's versioning violates PEP 440. We discussed about this once. PEP 440 says the development release numbering should have a different system yep. so that the development versions can also be made available. So, this is something which violates that. Where? The Triton version numbering. Yes. Violates PEP 440. PHP 440. PHP 440. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but Triton is not uh, a library. For me, uh, where you, you define the first number is the global API, the second number is only appending new API, and the last number is bug fixing. Uh, yeah, that's that's come from, I think, the Unix philosophy, uh, and the uh, C library works like that. But in some way, it works because it's for a library where everybody depends on this code, and uh, it's a very constrained uh, scheme because uh, if we follow this one, indeed, we will always have uh, a release dot o in Triton because uh, at every re new, new release we change some API, we improve it uh, and we don't care we are not uh, afraid to break the API to get a better one so I think it's, if it's to have always the same number, the second number the same second number it's useless to follow that and if we try to make it uh, like other library, uh, we will have a lot of dead code and uh, compatibility uh, function to, to, to keep the old API uh, f until the next ma major release. And I think it will be it will uh, slow the development of Triton, and we will have difficulties. To uh, it will not be as fun as uh, it is. <laughs> The Triton uh, release cycle is yeah. added on time, not on yeah. 
maybe in, in a new version of Triton, there are a lot of happy chains. Yeah. In the time. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and another release, there is a change in the HAP. So yeah. if we uh, follow the, the PAC rules, uh, a new release uh, will be uh, changing the first number, and the oh, next yes, release yeah. not, and it won't be uh, predictable. Uh, of course, I, I see okay. it works well when you have uh, a mature library where uh, uh, almost there is no change and it works well for technical library where you, you have a specific case, use case, and once it done the job, it's okay, you, you almost have never to change the API, you just fix bugs. But uh, <coughs> for a software like Triton is very difficult to keep it this way, keep, it, keep API compatibility and stuff like that. So, so I think it's easier that it, otherwise we will have now, uh, I think, Triton 50. Dot zero. <laughs> so yeah, of course, uh, we will look like uh, Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I I don't think it's good to increase just like that. Maybe. But you can look at like that. We have Triton uh, 50. <laughs> About the prefix, yes. The talk, uh, that we can use uh, company prefix or project. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, everybody is free to use any prefix. But in country list, uh, we told that use Python country prefix because I it's easier to, to have a list of all uh, third, mm, third party modules that uh, and the author is another PLT in, in I, in I think <laughs> if everybody use uh, Triton country prefix, in some way the prefix is useless because it gives you almost no information except it's not Triton the uh, it's not the, the same information than tri Triton, the prefix in for modules, no? It's a module of Triton, it, it, it gives the information that it's a, a Triton module, and a third party Triton module. <coughs> uh, yeah, but... Uh, the, the author is another field. I, I think people who, are, who will do modules, we will publish uh, modules that are not for the, the core, it's because they are writing modules for a specific usage and uh, some way what some call verticalization or and I think it's good to, to show the target of this module the uh, in which context he was developing but uh, of course not every module is uh, part of a big verticalization project and, and so we can have some modules contrib that are just there like that because it doesn't fit in any project but uh, it would be good to have one uh, trying to create a project for verticalization uh, a little bit like yeah, uh, verticalization the probably is like the name of the model, not in the, the prefix with uh, else because they are in it's the kind of verticalization they are doing so that's I think it's better to have this kind of stuff and if someone is doing uh, another kind of verticalization, use the name of the, the target or the, the context in which this module ap applies. Uh, but yeah, if, if you make, I don't know, a, a small module because you, uh, you would like to, to change how the numbering of invoice works, yeah, it's not part of a big project. So of course, it could be just Triton country <coughs> invoice uh, number or I don't know what <laughs> and that's fine I think but uh, saying everybody should use Triton contrib it's in some way useless and because it doesn't give you information and with on PyPy uh, you have a, a classifier so there is a classifier for Triton so you can find all the Triton modules on PyPy, so it's not about 
finding them because you can find them. Okay.